It's day three. But it's Josie's birthday. Ee, 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 ee. So we're going birthday, but you guys, I feel like this could so easily be transitioned or um, inspired for doing New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. Just New Year's in general. Or birthday. Okay, we got raise the roof, have a ball, uh, New Year's cheer, and this one, I have the one that's like a party popper. My favorite, come on, Sally Hansen, I love you, 2011, uh, I think love letter. These little hearts from Eat Your Heart Out, and I have the busy hearts. And then this beautiful gold, because we don't have a solid beautiful gold like this, it's called 24 Karat. It is in Coco, Japan, and you can get it um, on Facebook through uh, Anna's group, her Shibella, and in Coco sets. Anyway, here we go. You guys, I feel like this one's going to be pretty easy, but guess what? Josie is turning 18. Makes me want to throw up a little. Just a little. 18, you guys. God. I do have um, Color Street Ridge Filler down because one of these nails is negative space. So I wanted that good, smooth tone. Oh, God, that's gorgeous. 24 karat. Bring it, Fa. How do we not have just a solid glittery gold? Like, not champagne, but real live gold. I know I'm not the only one who has birthdays to celebrate over the holiday season. So maybe this will work for you. Otherwise, honestly, I think it's a um, brilliant, brilliant little New Year's Eve action. I gave the boys some treats so they'd be good. So we'll see how that works. Uh, so tomorrow. Bless you, buddy. Okay, do I want this top or bottom? I think I want it on the top. So I'm going to put have a ball on the bottom. I have found that I'm really liking these colored overlays over a glitter overlay. And I know you've got to kind of, you know plan it right so that it works and looks right um but a couple layers of a glitter overlay seems to really be working well for them now watch this will look like poop on a stick oh beef's trying to climb my chair gonna knock me out of it because he's a big bulky boy so tomorrow well I get my shot in the morning and then my gosh you guys we have a whole list hang on I'm getting my list <coughs> so I can tell you what all we're doing shot will be first things first no actually probably some kind of coffee will be first things first. So, some kind of coffee. <laughs> then my shot. Oh, yeah, that's fun. I love Raise the Roof. The bar glitters, you guys, I swear, I, did I say yesterday also I really like bar glitters? I don't know. I just feel like I just really do like a bar glitter. They're fun. And it has little squares in there, too. Like, just overall... This is just such a fun set. It's very confetti feeling. Um, okay, so we'll get my shot. Then we have to run into uh, Menards. Shit, I feel like uh, maybe about 10 videos in a row I've been talking about Menards. I do to go to other stores, you guys, but I get the um, get the boys' cat food at Menards. Okay, wait, let me back up. So you know... Well, you may not know, but if you're, if you have a Menards, it is like, you know, a lumber yard and such too, right? So, Dathan gets tons of 
you know, work stuff there. Now, one thing about Menards is they always have this 11% rebate going, like, almost year-round. There's nothing. And if they if they stop it, if they're like, oh, it's only good through the weekend, then I swear they start it a week later again. But the rebates you get, you can only spend in-store. All right. Well, he gets, you know, a ridiculous amount of rebates from buying work stuff there. And he has his contractor card through there. So then you get, like, additional rebates, I guess, or something. I, I don't fully understand it all. What I do know is you can only spend the rebates in their store. You're not getting, like, a cash rebate, right? Okay. Well, I mean, they really stack up, you guys. To the point where, I mean, in our old house, that's how we bought our new washer and dryer in the new house, the new stove, the new dishwasher. I use them all the time for random stuff. Um, the rebates, that is. Now, uh, we got the cats. They do have a great pet section. So I just buy the cats food there because basically, you know, it's free. So, that's a great way to go. Okay, party popper, and I'm not putting it all to the bottom because I want it to be, you know, halfway up my nail. And the um, plumper or whatever top coat I use will smooth that line. Cute. Hello, party popper. Um, I don't know. Let me see how this party popper would show over gold for those that are wondering. Really good. Really, really good if you want to use it over gold. Uh, so I get the cat's food there. That was my point. And um, I'm always trying to hit different Menards because, like, as much as they have the same stuff, they all get a bit of a variety, too. <laughs> you know, cats might want a different treat that week. So i got to get cat food. Uh, I'm going to get the supplies for my Chex Mix and I'm picking up some more of those pork chops because they were delicious and a great deal and then they work out to be free. I love free. <laughs> oh lord. Okay, so once Menards is done, then we are going to Byerly's which is like, I don't know kind of like a little fancy grocery store it's like carpeted and has chandeliers hanging and a bunch of nonsense but they have a fantastic cheese section <laughs> and Josie needs to get some fancy cheese um, they also have a fantastic bakery section so rather than having like birthday cake or whatever he wants to do uh, some of their little cute bits. They always have fun, fancy little, like, fruit tarts and just, I mean, I don't know. It's a very delightful selection. It's all very pretty and fancy. So, we'll get that stuff there. Um, and we need to go to Maplewood, which is a bit away from where we're going to be, but, you know, closer than it would be if we did it from home, because in their mall, they have this little hobby shop that has a bunch of, uh, like, anime statues and such, so Josie wants to go there, um, I gotta go to Papa Murphy's and grab pizza for Dathan and I for dinner, and then our last stop will be picking up curry from the curry place that Josie likes and then we'll be home oh and I think we're gonna get boba on the way home so that's our big adventure of a day really we're just tootling around mm -mm, you're so pretty gold 24 karat one sec I'm gonna clean this up or I'm gonna see if I can clean this up so, that should be fun. T 
tonight now. Well, not even really. I mean, I guess it is night. It's like almost 7 o'clock right now, you guys. So I'm getting a jump on this. Thank goodness. Um, when I get done here doing my nails, I'm going to do Shannon's loyalty. I was going to do my like pack the ruckus stuff and then do Shannon's loyalty but I'm doing Shannon's loyalty now so that we can both be packing and shipping stuff at the same time in an effort um you know basically for you guys to get stuff faster that's all so I'm gonna do that because I can easily knock loyalty out in like hmm Maybe five, six hours this evening. Should be easy enough. I'll turn my book on. I've got a teeny bit to finish for the book club book. Um, I've got a couple books I'm really looking forward to listening to. So the book club book has taken some turns on me. I was so wiped out today. Today I said... Well, I was up early, because Pan said so. Got up at about 7.30 and... Uh, Josie got up a little after 10. We were all wiped out from company. Well, I was wiped out from running the company around and then the ruckus. And, you know, like, not having power and not having water. Oh my god, this last week has been a week, you guys. So when Josie got up, I said, listen, today I just need a reset. So Pan and I went upstairs. I went back to bed. He cuddled in with me. And out we were. And I slept about four hours. It was amazing. And I've had migraines for days, which you guys, listen, I'm not alone. This weather is migrainey for so many people. Um, including my lovely typer, Melissa Huntsman, even though she's in California, she's also been having headaches and migraines. So it just is what it is, right? And when you're mom, it really just is what it is. And life just goes on, but it really does wear you after you have them for a couple days in a row. And that's where I was. So I'm glad to have those cleared up a bit. Now, tomorrow it's supposed to be 45 above, which literally makes it 50 degrees warmer than it is today. So I know that maybe will not be the best of the best on my head, but I don't get a choice. So, okay, so this one, you guys, is my love letter, right? So I'm doing my, my word strip and then I'm putting my little hearts over it. Love letter to my world's best. You guys, you know, like, you have, when you have a daughter, it's like you just had this little best friend, right? And Josie and I have always been super, super close. Um,. And just, it's just fun, like, as he's getting older, and just, you know, your relationship changes, and it's just, it's just good. It's just nice. But we do most everything together. Now, part of that, <laughs> we could blame on the separation anxiety, but <laughs> also because we have fun together, and we do have fun together, so... He is just as, like, sarcastic and pun-loving and joke-loving as I am. And he's my biggest fan when it comes to my made-up songs that I sing all the time. And he always suggests that we make an album. That's all my nonsense songs. So, you know... I mean, I get it, like, you gotta be parent, you do, um, 
and you got to be parent your whole life. You really do. But if at some point you can't come out of it with a friend, I feel like you really effed up. Like, what? Is, where did you go wrong? Because, you know, it doesn't have to be daughter, but it just usually mom and daughter is a very different relationship. So, there you go. And, and Josie is my best of my best. And if you haven't watched in a while and you're not in the loop of the the willow changing to the Josie, you'll catch on. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's fun. This won't be the last we see of rating sets over the holidays, you guys. But for today, it's my love letter to my world, to my ones and only. Also, don't tell Beef I said that. He's going to get real emotional because he wants to be my one and only. Him and Pan both. You guys, Pan slept on my arm like a little baby today while we napped with his stinky tuna breath. Breathe it in my face. And then every once in a while, he'd just lick my chin a little. Oh, I wish, or I hope, he grows out of that licky, licky bits. <laughs> I'm not a fan, you guys. I don't like pets licking my face. Listen, I don't want pets licking me in general. I'm sorry, it's just not who I am. Um... But I really don't like his tuna breath having to lick my chin. Or my eyeball for that matter. But he has gotten pretty good about not licking my eyeball. So. And him and Beef are getting so much better. Sometimes he grooms Beef. so. But then usually he grabs his head and tries to bite his ear. So I'm not sure. But they're definitely better. Maybe eventually he'll be able to be happy to groom beef and not groom me. He likes to think he's a rabbit. I feel like all our cats, but not beef, but Tartar and Pan for sure, both just like took to the rabbits and like to lay claim to being a rabbit. And Munch on Lettuce or munch on hay, but Pan has lettuce with them, has romaine with them. Every day, just a real teeny piece he munches on. And also, you guys, he will hop in their box and go pee. I'm like, you're not a bunny. And he says, I'm bunny. I got long ears and I got big feet. But... They'll kick his ass if they want him gone. Apparently, Betty just has taken him under her wing. She's good like that. She's a good little mama. Okay. Now... For the best part. Well, I don't know. I feel like all of this has been best. But I have these New Year's Eve decals. That I feel like are going to work perfect. So this one is the melting clock. And that is how it feels. So. Putting that there. Oh, and it's a slightly different. Like more yellowy gold. So it does stand out a little bit. I didn't care if the gold trim stood out. I was good with just having the clock stand out. But Yeah. Those are really cute. Okay. And then the other one I'm going to put on there are these little fizzy drinks because, well, I mean, they're champagne, obviously, on here. 
but um, every holiday, Josie gets the fake like Welch's, which I won't even say Welch's grape juice. Oh no, are you gonna fit? Oh, mm, biscuit. Because they are so far beyond grape juice these days. Like, they have all kinds of like mocktail flavors and such. And Josie's a super big fan. And we still get them for every holiday, so. I'm cutting off the little, there's like little words on here that say um, Happy New Year and such. I just don't want that. And that one wouldn't fly in. So it's probably now stuck to me jams. Yeah, that one's cute. So he uses a fun little like drink glass of some sort. And I was trying to find that piece that went flying, but I can't even tell what that one says. Well, it says babe. I don't know why it says babe on that drink, but it does. <laughs> and I'm holding it with my tweezer in hopes of not like getting fingerprints on the clear part. Oh, it's cute. Yeah fizzy bubble drink there we go okay I think that's all I need off those like I love these ones I just don't think I'm going to use them right now maybe I could put some fireworks out yeah no you've got plenty I do I have plenty you guys okay so let's here we can do this number four tomorrow and then, save these, because we might use them at New Year. I don't know. I don't know if we will. Flip that over. Ooh! Yeah. It's so early that the birds are still singing the song of their people. Their people get a bit annoying sometimes, you guys. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> oh, I love the melty clock. That is the perfect representation for your kid turning 18. Oh, where did time go? So fast. I was going to do a whole, like, Josie story time, but I just feel like... I do that already, so. Oh, gourds, these are gorgeous. Oh no, hang on, I got a pan hair stuck to me. And now I got a string came out. I don't know, there's no good combo for me. Strings and panty hairs. Yeah, I love that little cracker with the confetti behind it. Good fun. Good, good fun. I mean, this is definitely, you guys, if I did this for New Year's Eve, you wouldn't blink twice. So I think it definitely works for a birthday or a... New Year's Eve Manny. I love this one here. The hearts and the words. I mean I love them all. But still I have to tell each one of them that I love them. Or they'll get sad. Alright. There it is. Oh, it's really cute. Just a little filing cleanup. 
Yeah, I like that I use that red bubbly drink on there because then it pops out a little bit. But I also don't mind that it's all very monotone. I do mind that hair stuck to me though. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Real good. Alright. See you guys for day four.